First to history, as we saw last night, Ray Allen uh, dropping his 2,562nd three. And we heard so much from his teammates and really the uh, opposition last night that this is one of the classiest individuals yep. in the history of the league and how happy they seem to be for him to get this record. That's because this is a guy who is a star and is f so much more than just a three-point shooter. And yet, and that's the detriment of this record, is people are going to think of him that way. But the fact is, is that he was a guy who was a totally accomplished player and was willing to change his game and essentially become a three-point a perfectionist in order to make this fit with the Celtics. And that's why they embrace him as they do. Because not only is he a professional, not only is he a great guy to be around, but the fact that he's willing to sacrifice so much of his ego to make it work with this team and does it at a level of excellence that's uh, unparalleled. And of course, his arrival along with that of Kevin Garnett and uh, the rising up of yep. Rajon Rondo have ushered in a new era for the Lakers and the Celtics now trading championships, trading titles. It appears perhaps we are headed there again. Yep. With all the talk, though, the trade talk swirling around the Lakers these last couple of weeks, mm -hmm. it now appears perhaps to be dying down. Yes. What do you take away from what you saw last night? L.A. going in and grabbing arguably its first statement yeah. win of the year. They, well, obviously, number one is that this game meant a whole lot more to the Lakers than the Celtics. So, and I've, I've often felt that the difference between these two teams is really who has the most motivation on a given night, and the Lakers had that.